Today's reading comes from John chapter 21, verses 15 to 19. Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know I love you. And Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. A second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And he said, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter felt hurt because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. And Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Very truly I tell you, when you were younger, you used to fasten your own belt and to go wherever you wished. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will fasten your belt around you and take you where you do not wish to go. He said this to indicate the kind of death by which he would glorify God. After this, he said to him, follow me. Peter, a married fisherman. Yeah, that Peter, the one in Jesus' team who'd let him down, who'd denied him, who'd done a runner, who'd caved in when the going got tough. And now he's gone back home to what he knows, to where he feels safe. He's been fishing. And then, on the shoreline, he sees the risen Lord Jesus. He races to the shore. He hugs Jesus. This is Jesus. He's alive. There's a mixture of joy. But then, after breakfast, as Peter speaks one to one with Jesus, there's an element of shame. And then Jesus speaks, Peter, do you love me more than these? More than these? More than everybody else? At one moment, Peter bragged that he would never let Jesus down. That everybody else would run away, but he wouldn't run away. Peter, do you truly love me? Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Do you love me? A third time, three times, Jesus asked him, do you love me? What's going on here? Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Do you love me more than life itself? There will come a time when in my name you will be brought to persecution. You will be brought to death. Do you love me? Following Jesus is personal. It always begins with a relationship. Following Jesus is about following in his footsteps. It's about doing what he does. It's about living like he does. It's about making a difference. For Peter it was about fishing for people. And now it was about feeding lambs and sheep. Now, 
I've never been a fisherman. I've never been a shepherd. Yes, I've got something of a pastoral responsibility in my current job. For many years, I sought to help people by being a hospital porter. What does it mean for me? What does it mean for us to make a difference? What is Jesus asking of us right now? Here at St John's we want to do everything that we can do to follow Jesus and to make a difference. We're still here to help. If some of the things that you've encountered today, if some of the things that you're encountering in your life at the moment are making you stop and think afresh about faith, maybe stopping and making you think about getting back to your first love, We've just begun a, a brand new Alpha course. We're having to do it online, but having encountered the first week, it was fascinating. And, and if you want to join in with that, then please get in touch. But what about the practical things? If you need help, if you can give help, then again, please get in touch. We're working with um, local councillors, with the council, um, providing food for people. If you need shopping, do we can do shopping for you. Next week is Christian Aid Week. Uh, it begins a week today. And uh, one of the things that we're going to be doing um, next Sunday is, is, is a virtual big breakfast. Normally what we would do is we'd, we'd gather for a breakfast together. And then we would uh, um, support Christian Aid by, by giving. And what we want to encourage you to do is simply to have a breakfast at home. Take a picture of it. Text it to us. You know, send it to us. Um, and then uh, if you go on our website, I'll explain how you can make a donation by text. Maybe you at this time simply need someone to pray for you or even to pray with you again if that's you if that's where you are if you're finding that in your isolation you just need someone to be praying for you maybe someone to phone up and pray with you then again please please don't hesitate to get into it let us pray together now. 